<laughs> What's up, modern steaders? It's time to transport some of the chicks from the incubator to their little heat lamp area we're gonna have for them. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. I guess so. Ready to help? Sure. All right, let's go. You're doing good. <laughs> you need to stop, I'll take a break. <sighs> it just hurts. Yeah, it hurts the underneath. Almost there, keep it up. Who is that? How do I help them? Can you want to stop putting the wood chips in? Can you help? Now we're getting a section for it. Can you help? Can I too? I'll do as much as I can. You have to grab the scissors and put the bag open now. That worked. Did you get it all out? Yep. Hey. That worked out. Now we just have to like move it around. Do you want me to get in there and get the brush and just brush it around? Or you can just move it around with your hands. I don't want to. I'm gonna go grab the brush. Wood chips. I know that they're just wood chips, but still. Don't get in there. No. You get way too dirty if you get in there. Put one screw in it right here so this can't fall off. Oh, in the middle, right there. Put just on the edge. Did you do two on the edge? I can go get one more. You want me to? Yeah. There, well, now we don't have to worry about it falling off. Uh huh. What's up, modern steaders? It's time to transport some of the chicks from the incubator to their little heat lamp area we're going to have for them. Make some more room in here for some other chicks to start hatching. You don't want to touch any of them? No. Why not? I don't know. Just because I don't feel like it. One. Two. two three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, that was hard for us. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Well, that one's got brown feet. What do you think that one? That one's got black feet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Thirteen, Twenty-one. That's twenty-one. That's twenty-one. Right, so and then twenty-two. Hold this for a minute. There. We'll put the cover on, and then we'll come back out and get the one that's stuck in there. You get air. twenty-two. Hold on, mama. Yeah, We're gonna come back for you, buddy. Yeah, he's the one that's like, making all the noise. One of them fell underneath. We gotta go get him after. We're on a rescue mission. We got one chick that has fallen underneath the grate. And now we gotta get it out. Where's he? He's on it's the right side. right there. We'll leave him it up here to dry out in the incubator for a little while. Oh man. Oh, it's all the way down. It's yeah, I'll have to get it after. Oh my, he, his body definitely got wet. Yeah, there's water down there, so... That guy's ready to come out. He looks so weird, because like, his head is like all puffed out, and then yeah. all, all his body is like... Daddy, this is We'll weird. leave him in the incubator for a little while, let him dry out, and we'll move him in with the other chicks once yeah. we make sure he's good and dry. That video didn't go quite as planned as we thought it was going to. 
We thought we were gonna make a nice little video of moving our chicks from the incubator into the new brooder. We got the brooder all set up. Me and Olivia did that, it was a blast. But then we went to go get the chicks out of the incubator and one of the chickens we noticed had fallen down below. So it was like a grate that we lay the eggs on and it got down below under the grate that says like a water trough down there to keep the water so you can get your moisture going and keep the moisture up in your incubator. Well, one of the chicks had fallen down in there and we had to save that guy. So we didn't end up getting to videotape us transporting all of our cute little chicks into our incubator. But we went back and as you saw, we saved that chick from the depths of the incubator. But we'll be doing an update video on how our chicks are doing and our, a little bit of our brooder setup. The video bounced all over the place and it was a little bit unexpected, but that's homesteading for you sometimes. It's an adventure and you never know what it's going to turn into on, throughout the day for you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video. It really helps. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.